how to resolve the problem the disk structure is corrupted and unreadable on Windows. It can be on Windows 10, 11 or even 12 if it exists. This error message indicates that the disk structure is corrupted or unreadable, which can be caused by various issues such as fault sectors on file system corruption. To troubleshoot this problem, we can try one of the methods and one of them is the chkdsk command. And to do this, we are going to go on menu, then we are going to click to type actually um, cmd to open the command prompt, click with the raw button on it and run as administrator. That is very important, so do it properly. With this tab opened, when you run chkdsk command on a specific drive, it can scan each sector of the disk for issues and attempt to fix them. If it finds fault sectors, it will attempt to mark those sectors as bad. Then that will prevent them from being used in the future. Additionally, the chkdsk command also checks the consistency of the data stored, of course, on the disk and repairs any damage to the file system. So by running chkdsk command with the parameters f or r or the latter that you're going to choose as recommended to solve this problem, you will instruct the system to automatically correct any errors found and to recover readable information from fraud sectors if, if possible, of course. So this may take some time depending on the size and the speed of the disk, but it's an important step to ensure the integrity and health of your hard drive. We are going to type chkdsk space slash f space slash r space and here I'm going to put an x but what you're going to do is you're going to click on menu again go on this PC you're going to wrap this PC and here on this PC you're going to localize the disk structure that is having the problem if you're having the problem with the disk C here on the CMD you're going to change the letter X to the letter C. If you are having the problem with the letter F, you're going to put the F and so on. So let's suppose that I'm having the problem with the letter A. A and two dots. Okay, then you're going to press enter and wait for the process to complete. For me, the chkdsk command I run because the volume is in use by another process because I'm installing a game right now but that won't happen to you and even if that happened you can go on this option right here Y and N would you like to force its mount on its volume and you can go on N okay if that didn't solved let's go on to the next step and the next step is very simple sometimes connection problems or loose cables can cause a read errors on the disk. Make sure that the disk data cable is firmly connected to the motherboard SATA port and that there are no visible damage to the cable. If the disk is in an external closure, check if the USB or the Thunderbolt cable is properly connected to both the computer and the enclosure. Additionally, check for any visible damage to the cables and ensure that the ports are in a good condition. Non-stable connection or a damaged cable can result in a read errors or data corruption on the disk. So be sure to resolve any connection issues before proceeding with the troubleshoot solutions. If you don't know what is a SATA port, you can go on Google. I mean, let's go on Google. Let's go in images, uh, motherboard, uh, SATA port. Is this bad boy right here? Usually it goes on the side and it, the lower side as well. So it usually has a different color in it. In this part has some kind of red, but it can be yellow, it can be blue. The only thing that you can recognize 
is because it has this L and it's very easy just take it off and put it again and probably it will solve the problem if it's a connection problem okay so this next step is to verify disk integrity with third-party software there are several third-party tools available that can help verify disk integrity and fix errors and one of them is the Aomei partition assistant so this program offers a variety of features for disk management including integrity checking error correction and more when choosing to use Aomei partition assistant it's essential to download it from a trusted source just such as the official developer website so this ensures that you get the legitimate and most recent version of the software without risks of malware or fake programs so after installing a homemade partition assistant you can initiate the disk check by following the instructions provided by the program but sure before that let's go on the website here we are going to click in the load freeware and with this page open we are going to click here download freeware then the setup view download you're gonna have to wait a little bit for them to finish click with the right button show and pass then click with the right button again and run as administrated now let's op let's wait the program to open we are going to click OK or choose the language that you have click on skip then install now then click the only button that has now we are going to open the program and if the program opened we are going to see the disk that is having the problem when you localize the disk that is having the problem click the right button go on properties and you're going to see the usage space and free space that doesn't matter a lot but you can also check that it's just a thing more to check if that is really the, the disk that you want then click with the right button again and go on advanced now go on check partition there will be three options and then you're gonna click with the first one basically what the program will do is do the same thing that we did in the first option with the chk dsk command but we go a little bit more further well, as this is a third part program, it functions a little bit better. Then you're gonna just have to wait a little bit. And wait for that to say that it's completed. Then just, just press OK. And now let's open the, this PC. And you're going to see the two disk is functioning well so that is another method if that method worked for you please leave a comment below if it didn't leave a comment as well that way i can know if it's working or if it's not and let's go to the next and final step let's suppose my local disk e is in trouble so right click on the drive you want to fix go to properties and then go to security tab and click on edit here in the edit section click on edit and grant permission to the user the issue here is that your user doesn't have access to this drive you need to know your username and usually it's your name but some people change their usernames and that to find out you're gonna right click on the task bar and open the task manager it's that simple now you're going to users there you see your username so my username is my name like I said so we're going to go back to the same place to the local disk permissions and in this box I'm going to type my username you're gonna type yours and you, when you type it don't worry if you make a slight mistake in the letter or two it will like recognize the mistake and you correctly automatically so type your username here and click check names as you can see it will confirm the, the correct one and then 
you're going to click OK. When you do it, you're going to click on the View Control in, the, in this tab of Allow, and then you're going to click and Apply and OK. It may take a little bit of a moment, and I'll recommend you to wait for the process. And as it's setting up the secret set settings, so also keep in mind that this time. The time it takes depends on the number of files on your hard drive and your computer's performance. So we can't help with it and we can't rush it. And then you click confirm. I hope this have helped you and if it worked for you please leave a like. I will leave you more videos here related to the external drive issues and you can find them at the end. I will see you in the next video.